Welcome to Lemnis.com in a lab video series on Cisco Duo. This is Matha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of Duo videos, you can visit our website in the security section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. In the last video, we added users to our Duo Cloud and we left it synced with our Azure AD. Even though that would allow them to enroll their MFA devices, it would not let them authenticate to application. And that is because user sync doesn't really have anything to do with user authentication. Now, to allow application access, you need to figure out how users will be authenticated and you have a few options. The first option is to take care of the authentication outside of Duo if the applications allows you to do so and only leverage Duo for the MFA. This is a common option for services that only supports Radius and LDAP, for example, like a remote access VPN. The second option is you can leverage Duo as a identity provider or IDP for your app that supports SAMU integration using Duo SSO. And this is a common option for SaaS applications. And the third option, you can install a Duo access gateway, which is an on-prem IDP similarly to the Duo SSO, which is to happen to be a server on-prem, and then integrate your app that way via Samuel. In this video, we will be focusing on the second option, which is Duo SSO, and we will look at the other options in the future videos. In our lab setup, we have a Windows 2019 domain controller DNS server with the IP of 172.16.32.40. We have the second Windows 2019 that we have installed Duo authentication proxy on, and that guy has an IP address of .41. Both are on the server VLAN, VLAN 32, connected to our core switch, switch 1, which also provide access to the internet via our HQ Firewall 1, which is a 5 power device we use as an internet firewall. All right, so our server should have a good connection to Duo Cloud, and we also have Azure AD that we can use to do SAMU authentication as well for Duo SSO. And so once again, Duo SSO is a cloud identity provider based on SAML 2.0. It can integrate with on-prem AD, Azure AD, as well as pretty much any third-party identity provider and use them as authentication source. We are going to start with an on-prem AD and then we'll cover the Azure AD in the second half of the video. So let's take a look at the diagram here. The prerequisite for dual SSO to use the non-prem AD is obviously you have an existing active directory, which we do right here, uh, win2kdc1. You need to have an auth proxy and preferably in production, right, three of those for high availability with an LDAP connection to AD because right, the auth proxy will perform user authentication on behalf of the Duo SSO. And this, the auth proxy also need a good outbound TCP 443 to Duo SSO right, to the, on the internet. If the auth proxy is not part of the domain, then you're gonna need a service account for auth proxy to perform the LDAP authentication. And lastly, we also need access to your DNS server authoritative to your user domain. And I'll explain this more later on, but it's got to do with you proving that you have an ownership of your domain for domain ownership validation. All right, let me bring up the RDP jump host that we use to access the Duo admin panel. The first thing you need to do is to head over to the single sign-on section. If this is the first time that you're here, I believe there will be some messages around security implications of enabling this as well as an option to activate and start dual SSO. And that's a one-time thing because we already had that enabled. Or you can go back and show you that page. As part of that also, it will ask you to create a subdomain that will look something like this. And this is the domain or subdomain that the user will see during the authentication. For us, we just add the lap minutes in front of that, right, so it will be labminutes.login.duosecurity.com. 